I still see you all the time. The week after you died, I had a patient in the hospital after passing out and having uncontrolled high blood pressure, reminding me of you. I remember almost crying when telling them that they needed to take their blood pressure very seriously because some people aren't so lucky to make it to the hospital to have these interventions and make it back into the world. Running code blue simulations, where we simulate what to do when somebody's heart stops in the hospital, I got the feedback that I didn't prioritize initiating compression soon enough on my imaginary patient. I thought about how long it took for the cardiac monitor leads to be placed on you, and the initiation of proper chest compressions, or the lack thereof, when you passed. I've taken so many courses that have taught me about health and wellness. I knew so well the importance of good nutrition and exercise. I always thought that when I was independent and making good money, I could pay to have all these services for you to help out with your health, never realizing that I should have been doing all these things myself with you. I think it will forever pain me that for all we know and do in this family and healthcare, we never applied it to you and your healthcare. All I can do now is talk to people and their loved ones to help them with their health and wellness to prevent such a painful tragedy from happening again. Take care of the health of the ones that you love. Trust me, it's worth it.